Good morning, fellow dot art people. Miranda Patron here with you, ready to do another mandala, and we are heading into Christmas. So, if you are looking up ideas for color combos, I have a fun Pinterest page here with lots of different color palettes, and usually it's the latest one I'm looking for that's towards the top, but there's a great selection of different ones here for every season. And I just keep adding to it, so I hope you find something you like. I found one I kind of like. I do want to add black to this one though, so I might search out another one. But we're going to start with this one. So I have an art stone here that I molded from the Happy Dotting Company mold number three. This one is just made out of gypsum, so it is a heavier stone. And you can see I've coated it here with the Oyster Pearl Dazzling Metallics to give it that nice little shine. It also kind of seals my stone. So I'm going to just use one of the sponge brushes. And it still has a little bit of lines in it, but it's alright. Once you start doing your design on there, you'll be okay. So this one does have the center dot already there for you, so there's no measuring. And we're going to start off with the Tuscan Red. We're going to do kind of like a peppermint candy look here. So using an acrylic rod, I'm just going to place a big dot of that Tuscan Red right there in the center. Sometimes I just kind of have to rock it back and forth a little to get that perfect circle. Next I'm going to take some black. And using my etcher tool, I'm just going to go around, and this is the gold end, not the metallic end. So you can see I'm just making my plus sign, and then we're going to do in the angles here, the 45 degree angles on each side in between our 90 degree angle plus sign. And this really helps with spacing because each time you can visualize a smaller space of where you're going to place the next dots. Like, could I fit two in this space? Maybe it would have been a little crowded, but I'm just going to put one for now. And we'll tuck it in between those black dots that we've already put down. And this is just the regular ebony black. One of the things too is that letting the first round dry, if I just kept dotting this close to it, it probably would have leaked into the red. So I just keep on letting them dry just a little bit on the outer edge, especially the larger dots, like this red one. So this is just a small dotting tool. These ones for, are from Artenium, and she's on Etsy. But basically any dotting tool set you have, it's just going to be one of the, probably the second one. So it looks larger on the screen, but it's just a little tiny one. But that just also shows you how much smaller the etcher tool dots are. And again, I'm just using the Tuscan Red. So I'm not going to go crazy with a very large palette here, I'm just trying to use kind of traditional holiday colors with the reds and champagne and white. Mm. Now we're just going to go around here, tucking them in between each of the black ones that we just put down so that it helps keep your line and your symmetry. So there's no stencil, there's no guidelines, it's just tuck it right in and keep about the same size dot. So I have to keep re-dipping to keep about the same amount of paint on my tool to put it down here to keep the same size. And the next ring as well, we'll keep that Tuscan red. So we're going to get a nice rich couple of rings going here. But I'm going to up the size of the dotting tool just a hair. 
so that we can make some bigger dots here in between. Okay, so I've upped the tool size to about a two millimeter stylus, and this one is angled, so it holds quite a bit of paint. And I'm just doing one more ring here around with the larger dots in between the dots we already put down of that Tuscan red. Okay, next we're switching to a dazzling metallic. And this is the festive red on an acrylic rod. And we're going to start off again here with our plus sign because I'm just going so much bigger. I'm not going to be able to tuck it in the spaces of the second ring. So we're just going to do a, a plus sign to kind of start off our symmetry again. And I really need this in front of me, so that's why I keep spinning it. Just for my perspective is easier especially with all the cameras and things in the way. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put eight dots of the festive red. This one is such a great color. I love this metallic. It's kind of sparkly. Okay, I just want to make sure I get it a lot on my tool. And I'm just kind of rock it back and forth here to get that perfectly round dot. And I did let these dry because I don't want my next ring, which I'm going to try to keep close to it, of this. The black. I don't want it bleeding into the larger dots. So I really... <coughs> so using the etcher tool, the gold end, we're just going to dip it once or twice, probably once, and this, some of these I can get it all the way around. And you're just letting the paint run off the tool as you work your way around the dot. And that's going to create the progressive, progressively smaller effect. So a lot of people are calling it walking the dots, if you've heard that. So I didn't get enough on the tool there, so I'm going to redip it. And then you're just going to kind of work your way around to put one ring of the ebony black dots. And we're going to do this around every single one of those large dazzling festive reds that we just put down with the acrylic rod. So this is going to be an interesting holiday season. I'm not sure what you all are planning. I'm sure it won't be the norm that we've always had, but I'm still looking forward to some wonderful family time. Um, hopefully you can have some sort of blessing like that in your life as well. So shoot me in the comments what you guys are doing for the holidays this year. Last year, for the dotting Christmas tree, I put my bacon candy recipe, my spiced bacon recipe, in with the video. I might do that again this year because it was absolutely delicious and I got a lot of awesome feedback on <laughs> how you guys loved it. So if you don't want to go searching for that other video, which you can watch again if you want, it is a little bit longer. It's a live video, but I love that recipe. My whole family loves that recipe and the bacon is amazing, mostly when it comes right out of the oven and it's still warm. It's so delicious. I have never liked bacon. But this, this recipe, fantastic. Alright, so we're still working our way here around with the black dots. Okay, so I'm just going to step it up a little bit here and finish up these black dots. You can see on that other side I had two that blended together so I'll probably just scrape out that large one that leaked into both of them and dot over it with some of the oyster pearl just so you guys know how to fix something like that. If you have a background color it makes it really easy. Just scrape it off and touch up the base paint and then you just re-dot over it. I just want to give this one a gift as a gift so it's going to be touched up just a bit. Alright, so now I'm switching to champagne. 
And this is another, this is the Dazzling Metallics. I just got this Champagne Gold. I absolutely love their multi-service one and the Extreme Sheen Champagne. So I decided to try the Dazzling Metallic one and it is not disappointing. <laughs> I'm going up in size from the etcher to one of the smaller dotting tools. And again, it's angled so it does hold a little bit more paint. So this one is a little more fluid, so I have, I'm dotting it in the paint, dipping it a couple extra times maybe than I would have to, but that's not a big deal. It's getting enough color on there so you can actually see it. See, And then we're just doing a ring of the champagne around the black dots that we put down. There's a lovely lady I've been acquainted with here online throughout painting and she does some amazing music so that's who's singing in the background I'll post a link to her music in the description as well but I've been getting a lot of requests for background music but YouTube there's a lot of copyright issues and if I have any more than so, so many minutes of certain songs they will pull the video so I'm trying to follow guidelines here so I can stay on <laughs> I'm loving the contrast of this champagne against the black. This is super fun. So this is part of the thing too, is just trying and testing out colors. I don't, sometimes I just plan the color palette and ones I think I'm gonna use. I might grab accent colors to throw in with it, but there's not usually a plan more than that. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are having the same problem in the winter. My thumb is cracking open from all the painting and texting and pushing on your toothbrush, like absolutely everything we do, I, we use our thumb. That would just split. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys are enjoying this color. I absolutely love it. It looks like little beads on the stone. And it dries so shiny. And you can also varnish over these. They don't lose their shine at all. It actually is helpful. It helps the colors pop. So I'll post you a couple links too for varnishes I like. Okay, so I think what we are going to do next is some small, small <coughs> black dots in between our first ring of dots here using the metal end of the edger tool. So you have to kind of get a lot on it and then sometimes I even have to dab it a couple of times to kind of get it off the tool so it's but it's so tiny, they're so tiny, they fit right in between that first round we put down with the gold end. Plus I think it's a fun little beaded look. So we're just tucking them in here, just to kind of fill in a little more of that space. And continuing on with the black, we are going to do one swipe, just one direction from the top of our champagne dots down around this little element that we've created here. So you can see this already creates the, the skinny tail. I'm pushing down on the stone. I just dip it once and then drag it around this element. This tool makes such awesome swipes. I hope you all are using it. I, I had a lot of great feedback from people who are saying what a game changer it is. Super fun to use. My, good My friend Angie T is the one who showed me this tool a long time ago and I have been using it ever since. So shout out to Angie. She has a dotting group too called Dot Mandalas and More. 
and she also creates a lot of amazing art. She's from the UK, you should check her out. All right, so just swooping it, swiping it, dot dragging it, comma stroke, just across here. And then I think that's all I'm gonna do for swipes for this section. So now I'm just contemplating here. We'll put a nice big old dot of this sterling silver extreme sheen. So yeah, we're putting it on the white, but it's interesting, the silver actually looks kind of white. It is so bright. It actually shows up brighter than the oyster pearl that we put on our stone. So you can see the contrast difference, but it's not so stark that it just draws your only attention to here. And this tool is about two millimeters in size for the ball end of the stylus. So if you have the rainbow set, it's the blue one usually, the large end of the blue one. I really love how plumpy these dots look because of the viscosity of this paint, it's great. Okay, so now I'm just going to tuck a few more of that sterling silver down at the base of each of these. I'm just going to tuck it right in there. And that's one thing too, is just double check you can fit it in every space that you want to put something. Okay, now using the same reds we used in the center, we're going to go through with some swipes on the outskirts here of our stone. So with that etcher tool, I'm going to grab the Tuscan red and just start that with our middle swipe here, right into the nice sterling silver dot. You have to kind of find what's comfortable for you. So drawing a straight line with a pencil from left to right or pulling it towards yourself. It just depends on what your comfort zone is for the action of doing the swipe. But it makes it really easy with this tool. If you need to, too, you can always use the other end to kind of pull out and shape the tail a little more if you need. So my only caution would be on the sides here is just be careful if your paint is too thin, you don't want it to run off the stone. And we'll just go around over every one of the sterling silver dots to go ahead and put a swipe of this Tuscan red. Look how rich this is, it's great. So remember after that Tuscan red, we used the festive dazzling metallic red. So mine's a little thick because it's been yeah. sitting here in the palette, but we can still make that work. Or you could just re-pour a little bit more on your palette. Somebody said using press and seal wrap or using a wet paper towel will help keep your paints damp while you're working with them. But there are also products out there that allow for extending your painting time. So it is on both sides here, and I'm just going to fix it up with the metal end to reshape a few of them because you can see it's pretty thick. I'm just going to fix that each tail here. I don't really like to waste paint, so I'm going to try to work with this here so I don't waste. Just 
After the festive dazzling metallic, we're going to switch over to that champagne again and do some little swipes down the side next to the festive red. And just to give these ones on the side a little bit of a more developed shape, I'm just kind of pulling out the top a little bit just to kind of make it overhang so you get kind of the I don't even know what to call it <laughs> in the other video we were calling them mukas but I'm not even sure what to call it so it just is a little bit of an overlap area of the swipe so I was drawing it like a number two almost where you just kind of spiral around the top and then pull it down in towards that sterling silver white but you can see it gives that swipe a little bit of an overhang on the design. All right, so I'm gonna go now and grab probably some of the sterling silver again. And we'll try putting a big old dot of that in the center with our acrylic rod. And then we'll go back and grab, so these are the large dots are the festive dazzling metallic. So I'm going to grab some of that Tuscan red so it's a little bit darker. And towards the base of each of these large dots, I'm going to put a smaller dot using the two millimeter dotting stylus we'll put a dot down here at the bottom and then we have just that little contrast especially once this dries the Tuscan dries so much darker so it's pretty just different levels of the reds what do you think? I think we're getting the peppermint candy kind of theme here going. I will call this the peppermint mandala. So it's different lighting here this today as I'm starting again, but I'm using the sterling silver down the side. All right, just tucking them down under here. And we're doing our curl around so we have the same kind of shape to just kind of finish it off with the overhang rather than them all sticking straight out. And lastly, I'm going to come in with the etcher here and some black just to kind of carry that black throughout our piece for some contrast. Obviously, you don't have to do it. Or if you want it lighter at the end, you could even do some more of that sterling. That would look good, too. And I'm just putting black dots over the top of each one of our swipes here.
see, it just gives it a different look here. You could also do top swipes over your swipes, different shades of them, that would look neat. But there's always a ton of different ways you can go with your mandala. So I hope you had fun doing this one. I love the Christmas colors, the holiday mix, peppermint candy, there we go. And as always, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook, it's just Miranda Patron Art, but I have my own website, MirandaPatronArt.com, and it's like the one-stop shop. You can find the tutorials, the color palettes, my art that I sell, dotting tools, everything. But I also try to leave them in the description here for you guys in case there's something you want to pick up that you don't have and try out. Stop and say hi as well. I love it. I love hearing from you guys. I hope you're all doing well this season, and I wish you all happy holidays.